Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial, to another makeup look, new day, new look. Let's jump right in. I'm going to do a drugstore tutorial today. I went to a drugstore here in Germany that's called DM. I already bought a couple things that you cannot buy in Germany, so there are US products or stuff that I got in other countries that you can't buy here in Germany. So it's gonna be a mixture of drugstore products. It's gonna be NYX, Revolution, Maybelline, Essence. I'm gonna try and use as many as I've got and also try brushes that are mainly drugstore. I can't promise that I'll stick to that. I'm kind of excited to do this. I got this new eyeshadow palette from Revolution. It's the Redemption Palette Iconic 2. It's five euros for 12 shades. Isn't that wild? That's crazy to me. So I wanna try this out today. I also have this NYX palette that I got, which has like really kind of fall colors, but I might use some of them as like transition colors. It's not gonna be like a wild look. I just wanna play around with the palette a little bit and kind of take you guys with me. Use some products I haven't used in a while, which are drugstore. And I would say, let's jump right in. So first off, I have this NYX Liquid Illuminator Born to Glow, which I guess you just put underneath your foundation if you want. I'm gonna put a little bit. I have tried this out before and I didn't love it. I'm just gonna blend this out with a Real Techniques brush. Like I said, I'm gonna try and be as drugstore as I can. I don't have a primer that is drugstore, so I'm not putting on a primer. This is really glittery. It's really glittery. It has like glitter speckles in it. Don't love it. For foundation, I have a few options. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Beige. It is a little bit too dark for me. I have the NYX Total Control with like a little droplet thing on the top in the shade Buff. And then I have Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I'm gonna do Maybelline Matte and Poreless on my T-zone and then I think I'm just gonna mix the NYX one and the Wet n Wild one on the rest of my face. The shades are all pretty similar, so let's jump right in. I'm gonna put the Matte and Poreless one on like the back of a palette because it doesn't have a pump. Just putting the teeniest amount on there, putting that in my T-zone mainly just because it is matte and I do get oily in this area. Let's put the others on. The Wet n Wild has like a little spatula. Some people don't like it. Some people like it, I like it. Some people say it's a bit unhygienic, but it doesn't bother me. And then, I'm gonna put a teeny tiny drop of the NYX on, just, just a little bit. It is very runny. Gonna blend that out. I have a Real Techniques sponge, which is drugstore as well. So, gonna blend that out and we'll see how it looks. Isn't it great that when you like, don't use a product for a long time, you remember how nice it is? I've been so focused on my Giorgio Armani foundation that I don't use any others. But wow, this looks great. Foundation is done. Let's go in with my only drugstore concealer, which is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade number 005 Light Neutral. I do have another shade. I might mix them together. It's 020 Light Beige and Light Neutral. I've used this a lot. Although I don't love it and I feel like my under eyes stay really dry. I do like this Real Techniques sponge to be honest. Okay, the base is done. Let's go into the brows. I have a Rimmel eyeshadow powder that is way too dark for me. And this is in the shade medium brown. I usually would need like an ashy one. It's the brow this way. Rimmel London. I'm just gonna go in with a really, really light hand. I can already tell this is gonna be so dark for me. Wow, super dark. This is for people that have like full on brunette hair. Whoa, so dark. I'm gonna quickly do the other brow and I'll be right back. Still here. Look at those caterpillars. This is like a reddish brown, it looks terrible. I'm not even gonna continue. I have an eyebrow gel that maybe, hopefully, will sort this terrible brow look out. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. I have talked about this in my previous video, and I have the ashier one. Okay, my brows look wild. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna leave them as they are. I think once I've done the eyes and stuff, they're gonna come together a bit more. Let's continue. 
The NYX looks not too bad, the illuminating glow, although it was super glittery. I don't, I mean, it's not crazy, but you can still see it, my forehead and my cheeks coming through a little bit. All right, moving on. I have this NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette, which I'm going to use to contour my thighs. It has three shades. I think this is the medium one. They didn't have a different one where I bought it. I'm going in with this Benefit brush, which is actually not meant for this. It's meant for the eyes, but I use it because it goes perfectly into the crevices of my face. This product, though, needs to be like warmed up a little bit. So with the brush, warming it up. And I haven't used this in a while, so I'm gonna go in with a light hand. I have this little Real Techniques brush that is actually great for blending out contour because it's like slanted. But for now, I'm gonna leave my face and I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I don't have a face powder that's drugstore, so I am gonna use um, my Laura Mercier a little bit just because I'm gonna do eyeshadow now and I don't want it to like mess up my concealer. So I will put a little bit, maybe I'll do a little light bake. Let's go in with a transition shade first. I will go into this Revolution palette. I'm gonna go in with this like gray mauve shade in a mirror. Just with a very light hand. Pigmented, yep, I would say. Just very dusty. All right, now that we've blended that out, I will go into this NYX palette and take like this brown that's in here and this weird black gray color and just deepen up the crease a little bit with that. I think I'm gonna use the same brush or maybe not. I think I might just use this Morphe brush. Just very lightly patting this on and then taking it into the crease. I'm going back in with my Zoeva brush. We've created like a nice gradient. I'm gonna go in with the black, probably with this MAC 217 brush. As I said, these are very powdery shades. Just patting that on to the outer part of my eye. Doing it with a really light hand. I'm gonna go back in with the black and just put up, put on a little bit more. I'm liking the smoky effect. Nobody really does like a plain old simple smoky eye anymore. Okay, now that I've done that, I think I'm just gonna go in with like a shimmery shade from this palette, but I cannot decide which one. The shimmers are amazing in this. I mean, really pretty. I think I wanna go for more like a golden -y one. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna go in for that. Doing it with my finger, not even gonna bother applying it with my brush. Shimmers are really good. Go, just. Ooh, I like it. Gonna use this Clean Real Techniques brush and just kind of blend out the edges a little bit. As you can see, I'm kind of letting the gold fade into the black. I have just noticed a little bit of fallout on my cheeks. I mean, this is kind of almost unavoidable these days. You guys, I'm gonna do the other eye off of camera, and then we'll do the rest of the face. I've done both eyes now. Looks a bit grungy, got that golden in the inner corner. I will put a little bit more emphasis on the inner corner with the, like, third shade down. It's like a champagne-y, Color. Just going in with like a pencil brush. Let's do the under eye. Going in with the same shade I started with, the mauve gray. This one right here with the same Morphe brush that I used earlier. Honestly, I don't mind when my under eyes are very nice and shadowy. Going back to my Zoeva brush, blending this out, combining the upper and the lower lash line, creating this really nice smoky. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of black, just a tiny bit, probably with what's left on the brush. And just not going all the way in. Going back in with the shimmery, just applying a bit more of that. Maybe a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of gold. Real Techniques brush, detailer brush. See, perfect for what I wanna do. Just a speck. Going back in with my Zoeva brush. It's very patchy. The black is very patchy. It doesn't bother me. Looks really cool. I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. I have put a little bit of bake on my under eyes. I've done the other eye now. Prefer this one. I don't know what's going on with my left eye today. Finished the eyes, pretty much. Now I'm gonna go in with a black liner. This liner I have had for 
a very, very long time. But I used to love it. I used to have this stage where I put eyeliner on my under eyes and like look super emo and stuff. Just gonna put this in the waterline. That always just gives such a sexy effect, doesn't it? Wow, I think the difference in that is insane. Automatically, it looks so much more sultry. I'm gonna do the top really quick as well. Tight line, I'm gonna tight line the top. Makes your lashes look fuller and it adds to the smoky eye look. I have no idea what this pencil is called, I'm sorry. I've had this for like such a long time. Dusting away the rest of the bake. The Bacage. For mascara, I have a few options. I have the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara or L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Tati approved, Tati approved. She loves these. Of course, I went out and bought them. So I don't know which one to use for mascara. Mm, should we do one on each eye? Let's do one on each eye. Gonna do the Essence one on my right eye. It has a shape like this. I tried this before and yeah it's good but it smudged on me like throughout the day i had it all underneath my eyes it does separate the lashes really nicely looks pretty good oh my god see the lash paradise it's just too freaking much so much comes out hate these kinds of brushes but you can already see the difference the lash paradise is much thicker and heavy duty L'Oreal Lash Paradise is just a little bit too thick for me. These are the lashes. I mean, this is the Essence. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I don't do fake lashes. It's not how I roll. Let's move on to the rest of the face. I bought this new powder from Essence. Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. I think this is going to be too light for me. Just because I love a bronze look. It's a huge pan. I learned this trick from Alana Davison. She uses a stippling brush for her bronzer. Let's just go in. See how this color looks on me. Look how powdery that goes when you use a stippling brush. Alrighty. Looks pretty good, actually. I could have gone for the darker one. I'm gonna do the right side with this stippling method, which is very dusty. And now I'm going to go on with the other side with the Real Techniques brush, bronzing powder brush. Color is okay. By the way, this smells really good as well. Bronzer, I like it a lot. Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder in Lighter Skin shade. There are only two shades in the drugstore where I bought them from. Let's do a little blushy blush. I have this NYX Baked Blush Illuminator and Bronzer, which looks like so it's very pink and it's kind of iridescent but i'm gonna go for it who cares oh yeah it's super shiny on the cheeks so if you like matte blushes this is not the one for you i have this whole other nyx palette as well that i like to use this top this one here on the top left is my favorite i mix these two together because they're peachy but like mauvey not too much don't like too much blush looks a bit much right now We've done the blush, we've done the bronzer, let's do the highlighting. Oh, God. The one that I want to use is the Sleek palette. It looks insane. This is a drugstore fan brush. I'm going to go in this top right corner, the bottom one, just the top, these two, because this is too yellow. Just, just a little bit. Hmm. Not, ooh, okay, we're getting somewhere. Just mixing all three, really. Just mixing all three. We've pretty much done the face. You can see it leaves a little bit of a cast, the highlighter. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me. Now for lippies, I'm going to do a nude lippy because our eyes are wild and I want to do nude lip. I bought this duo from Maybelline, which is which came together in like a set. You get the lip liner and the lipstick. And this is the shade 930 Nude Embrace. I'm gonna line my lips really quick. When I apply lipstick, I do like to leave the foundation on my lips because my lips are very pigmented. And when I put a lipstick on, it doesn't show it's like true color. But I forgot how much I like this color. 
What am I doing? I'm putting it on my teeth. I'm licking the freaking lipstick. I need food, I think. You guys, I think this is the finished look. It's like a really nice smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, of course. It takes you like one second. Gonna put everything down below. And I hope to see you guys very soon.